my name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another muscle functions video of the week for you. This week I chose to go over the gastrocnemius muscle also known as the calf muscle. So anyway I will go over the origin insertion functions and exercises of this muscle as I always do for every muscle functions video. So I will tell you where the muscle is and then I will show you where the muscle is. So the gastrocnemius muscle has two heads. It has a medial head and a lateral head. Now they both originate in two different spots. However, they insert into the same spot. So I will go over the medial head first. So the origin of the medial head is posteriorly on the femur condyle. Okay, and then the lateral head is on the lateral part of the femur condyle. Okay, remember the condyle is the knuckle part of that bone. So you have your knuckle part of the femur. Okay, you have the front where your kneecap is. So if you turn it around, there are two small kind of knuckles on the back. Okay, the medial part or more towards the middle one is where the medial head originates. The lateral one is where the lateral head originates. And then they both come down and insert on the posterior part of the Achilles tendon. Okay, so I will show you where it is, even though you guys probably already know. So you have your gastrocnemius muscle, your calf muscle right here. Okay, the medial head would be in here. Okay, and the lateral head would be out here. Okay, so they both run down and insert posteriorly on that Achilles tendon. Now remember, they originate on the posterior part of that femur condyle and then insert posteriorly onto the Achilles tendon. So, now you know that this muscle has two heads and where it originates and inserts. We can now go over the functions of the muscle. Now, the functions of the muscle are very simple. However, if you do both of them at once, it kind of cancels the whole thing out. It does one or the other, not both. So, the gastrocnemius muscle uh, functions are knee flexion and plantar flexion of the foot. Okay, so you have knee flexion, okay, notice that my foot is not pointed, okay, it does do plantar flexion, okay, and you can see it work right here, that is your calf muscle, however, if you go to flex your knee, your foot must be dorsiflexed so that the full concentration is on knee flexion and not plantar flexion. If you plantar flex, this diminishes the effect of the calf muscle during this movement. The, you'll be working your hamstrings more. Okay? So, and that would be the same, uh, so during knee flexion, we want to have our toe dorsiflexed or pointed towards the ceiling, okay? And then for uh, calf raises, that is an exercise for plantar flexion, we need to have our legs straight so that our calves are fully concentrated on one movement, not on two different movements, because that completely diminishes the effect of the calf muscle. So, exercises for the calf muscle. So now that we know that for knee flexion, our, our toes need to be pointed towards the sky or dorsiflexed. Okay, so, so for knee flexion, we have leg curls. Now these can be standing, sitting, lying, um, 
standing sitting line uh, pretty much any way that you can get a leg curl in however remember your toe needs to be dorsiflexed or else you'll be working mostly your hamstring muscles now you will get some hamstring movement with the gastrocnemius only because that's how they cross over again remember that you cannot solely just work one muscle because your body's used as an instrument to move as one not separate okay you can't move one muscle than the other than the other they work in sync so again with knee flexion you can do leg curls you can do them standing sitting and lying as long as your toe is dorsiflex so you get the maximum effort from that gastrocnemius muscle so if we move to calf raises okay that would be plantar flexion of the foot remember that is pushing down okay if your foot is in neutral this is dorsi okay this is plantar okay now if you plantar flex your foot you're going to be doing calf raises okay in order to do the calf raises the same goes for calf raises as leg curls okay you can't have your knee flexed for calf raises so as long as your legs are straight at the knee it will work the gastrocnemius muscle the most okay so you can do any type of calf raises you can do uh, standing calf raises you can do donkey calf raises you can do two-legged one-legged you can get very very creative with calf raises now if any of you don't know what donkey calf raises is that is being bent over okay and then doing calf raises and normally the weight sits back here okay but again you can get creative with the calf raises you can do them seated in like a leg press but as long as your legs are straight okay if your legs are bent it diminishes the effect of the calf muscle so give her a go give her a try try them all on your next leg day or try them separately from your leg day um, it's just something fun to try I hope you guys have learned something and I hope that you guys are able to use it in your training in the future so if you have any questions please give me a buzz through YouTube or my Facebook page at Becky, F Becky Fiddler Fitness excuse me uh, but again I hope you learned something I hope it was very informational to you so See you later, everybody. Have a good day.